we need to prove that a line from the center that bisects the chord is perpendicular to the chord. We're going to do that in three easy steps, right? So step number one is to make some construction, right? So let's go ahead and uh, construct OA and OB. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we are going to join OA here. So let me just uh, do that real quick. And then we're also going to join OB, right? And now we can move to the second step, right? So the second step, we're going to prove that uh, triangle O a d and the triangle o b d are congruent how can we possibly do that we can start by saying that o a is equals to o b they're all radiuses right so they're supposed to be equals to each other and then now we can say that o d is equals to o d in the two triangles because it's a common side right so our reason here will be common is a common side and lastly we're going to say that ad is equals to db right that's given that's given we can clearly see on our sketch that is given to us so if those three sides are equal we can then conclude that uh, triangle o a d is congruent to triangle o b t and why are we seeing that side 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 all three sides are equals to each other and now we can move to the last step what do we know about perpendicular lines we know that if two lines are perpendicular then where they touch they should make an angle of 90 right so if we can prove that we have 90 right there then beyond reasonable doubt od is perpendicular to ab so let's uh, call this angle here d1 and call this angle here d2 as part of our constructions but we know that uh, d1 is supposed to be equals to d2 why am i saying that triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBD right all corresponding angles should be equals to each other so D1 should be equals to D2 right but then it's easy to see that D1 plus D2 is equals to 180 degrees right as they are angles on a straight line uh, but d1 is equals to d2 so we can just say that uh, 2 d1 is equals to 180 degrees so what are we saying we say that d1 is equals to 90 degrees so now we have proved that uh, d1 is 90 degrees we're gonna know fully well that consequently uh, d2 is also equals to 90 degrees now we can conclude and say that OD and AB are perpendicular to each other because uh, D1 is equal to 90 degrees, right?